Hello, my friends, it's time to unleash the Germans. Let them come. Brazil is willing to join us in the war and has offered to send an expeditionary force to serve alongside our forces. Sure, why not? Not sure what I'm going to do with a random core in the middle of nowhere, but hey. Hey! Switzerland towards allies! 17%! That's huge! Command and control for India. Right, they just stuck a bomber right on the front line. I seem to be doing a lot of rearranging now. Down for the oil. One for one against bombers. Nice. Just you wait, buddy. Eventually, I will clear all that land. again. Interceptors! Escorts! I need anti-aircraft guns there. Nice.
Okay, well. That didn't really achieve anything, did it? Nice. Papa Artillery got some big kill there. Defensive Artillery! Nice. Nice. Another solid smack for the enemy. Oof. Run, forest, run. Nice. Oh, vicious. Oof. Still vicious, though. Oof, more viciousness. Oh, how? How did the Italians get six damage there? Paratroopers blundered into the AA gun and nothing happened. Except that the paratroopers won. Tank, I should be able to surround it and then destroy it. Japanese units running away from my front lines here. Soviet national morale falls with the loss of Gorky. Okay. 
Let's go ahead and heal up these bombers. It's about the only thing that are getting any work done. Okay. I need to get this anti-aircraft gun to the front line somehow. Okay, let's think about that later. Let's get some victories in the Pacific. Okay. That just doesn't reach. That barely reaches. Wow, look at these guys. Oh, there goes the HQ. We just RNG'd the old landing casualties. Okay, this one doesn't have a strike. Do it. One for one is worth it. Well, now, now you're in a, in a, in a sandwich, shall we say. A delicious sandwich made of defecation. They've got a strike, so I should hold on to them. Oh, what was that? Okay, these Italian, uh, not Italian, these Indian troops can barely move. Okay, that'll do. sit your ass there just in case. 
take a seat. These guys need their anti-air upgrade and they also need an extra pip. that if you want. Nice. Nice. Beautiful. Okay, China's doing okay, it's actually got money. Command and Control Level 2 is coming soon. Maybe we could start researching mobility and actually be able to uh, strike back eventually. It's either that or I buy another army. Let's do it. Let's go and grab mobility. Maybe eventually China will be able to buy mobilization upgrades and then fight back. Or at the very least, when Japan eventually crashes out of the war, it's down to 42% now. Um, Uh, when they crash out of the war, that will be, uh... Cool. We'll start just taking ports. Uh, when they crash out of the war, that will be the, uh... That will be the way that they fly to the friggin' Russian front. Second Army. Tanks are for the European Front. Tacticals are for the Euro European Front. Okay, those tactical bombers sat there are looking mighty juicy. There's a coastal gun here. And one here. But not one here. Wow, this fighter is badly hurt. So dumb.
the AA gun is always going to be busy. What's the range? Nine. So if I do six and then it halves three to one, I'll just get there. Armored heavy tanks. Ah, I picked the wrong spot. That was dumb. I gotta repair that now. Get him! Interceptors! Escorts! Shattered! Finally! How pleasing. Wouldn't it, be, wouldn't it be funny to just land troops there? These amphibious transport attacks are expensive, to say the least. And yet, they are effective. It's just, it's like a way to convert, um... To convert MPPs into just free kills. Come on! Forever taking damage. And these little chips are hurting the EXP gain that I desperately require. just get the kill without taking damage apparently not I need the anti-aircraft gun to slowly roll into position here. Any unit that I place here is being carpet bombed by the enemy. Nice hit. We got tanks from the USA. Uh, okay. <laughs> you 
You know, we didn't kill it, but we smashed it down so hard we know it's going to have no experience points, so... Oh, I lowballed, and therefore he high rolls. <sighs> Pain in the ass. Do I roll another tank into that meat grinder? Wow, this artillery has three shells available. I'm gonna say no. Okay, it's a wall of tanks, artillery and anti-aircraft guns, with relatively few weak points. Let's see if we can keep on grinding down the German war machine with these amphibious attacks. Okay, the last level of amphibious warfare is on the way. It seems like tanks and heavy tanks can only reach rank 3. Same as the anti-aircraft guns. So what's the point in going higher? Same for the for the Russians. Twenty-three percent morale. Okay. Do it. Nice.
Okay. I guess we'll call that a defense. <laughs> establish this road otherwise this unit will start losing supply. In fact it's already losing supply. Zukov. 239, 239. I can exactly afford to bring him back. I'll have to live with whatever I've got up here. And he fled the building. Okay. Russia holds on. What is there to really do with the US? The ships are kind of useless. I guess I could send them all back to Pearl Harbor for refit. For some eventual attack on Japan. Interesting. I guess what I could do is I could take the entire fleet back to Pearl Harbor. These major ports, they don't seem to let you do proper refits because I guess their supply level is not high enough. So we'll take the whole fleet back. To, uh... Back to Pearl Harbor. Completely refit it, upgrade it. Get it... Combat ready. And then try and figure out what we can do with it. We know that the Japanese have a couple of carriers out there. We 
we could maybe put the whole fleet together and then go and interdict this line. I don't know, but it's a huge fleet and I feel like I should be doing something with it. Even though it's useless most of the time. The subs could use refit as well, but the ports are going to be super busy, so we'll move the subs once the uh, once these lines are broken, leaving only this. Okay, what's left? Actually, this one doesn't need refit. Just needs upgrades. It's the only ship that's not damaged. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty ships. Crazy. Send them home, refit them, and then decide what we're doing from there. Yeah, so fighters only go up to level three as well. Tanks and heavy tanks also only go to level 3. These are the units for, uh, these are the units for the attack on Cucum. Come, yeah, Cucum. This, uh, Aussie unit will just go and grab all of these villages and such, so that the, uh, Japanese cannot base planes on them. To be fair, the UK is actually um, starting to get high naval naval transport capability. actually already level 4.
You know what? I think Oz can help. Three might even be enough. Three might barely be enough to take that. This is gonna fall. This, I mean, that's just a garrison. This looks undefended. Effectively. Nice. <laughs> Can truffle shuffle the HQ forward. That's so dumb, but it's funny. Enemy fire. Okay. We clear this, we take this, we clear out all of this. Diplomacy in Switzerland continues. 81% now. Potentially one more push and they join the war. That could be very annoying for the enemy. To have a huge... To have a flank in the middle of their nation. None of these tanks have got that much experience, it seems. It's hard to tell, since you just get this vague notion of stars or uh, equivalents. And the artillery is also starting to level, so... Who knows? As long as we can keep the heavy tanks alive, we may yet get the experience levels up high enough that they start crushing through. and experienced units for the enemy are in short supply, it would seem. In fact, you know what? Why not? Ha! Glorious! Just noticed that. <laughs> I don't know what's with the anti-aircraft guns. Get these repaired and refitted and This is now two two pip as well. Yeah, once these units get really experienced, I think we'll start to win. my emergency hole plugger. I have so much artillery here and I have no idea how to get it <laughs> how to get it into the battle. I need the anti-aircraft guns too. The naval transport attacks seem to be the way to get things done, bizarrely. Okay. The only issue is a Russian hold door. I 
the US can send more money to the UK. Do it. The US is drowning in money. Huh, should've done this sooner. UK to USSR. Send extra money to the Russians to help them hold on. Ha! Huh. Should have done that earlier too. Hmm, no idea how I'm gonna get more money into the into the motherland soon though, because this is once this caves in We're in trouble India's also okay sending as much as she can and that's what she should do because she's not really that important Oh right, I forgot about this. <laughs> There's a whole bit of the battle I forgot about down here. I'm so so concerned with other stuff. The Italians are gonna have interceptors, aren't they? That much is obvious. Oh, big hit. Ready to send you back to port. Get him! Goodbye. Ooh. That was quite the retaliation. Okay, fine. That's the med dealt with. Again. I came looking for one submarine and I found a small fleet. But anyway, the small fleet is on the bottom of the, bottom of the seabed now, so... This is starting to look really thin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight gaps. And this, you know, these are not combat units, and neither are these, and neither is any of this. I'm starting to feel like a serious tank push 
could occur here. But I should be careful not to overextend. Get into weird trouble. I should use my amphibious strikes to um, uh, slam down this Hungarian first army and try and get into this tile because then I can get the coastal gun. A rolling strike on Paris would be huge. Once I've got Paris, I'm in the clear. I'm not really that bothered about France rejoining the war, because they've got no technology, so I don't think that they offer anything. Maybe just buy anti-aircraft anti gun research for them and start pumping out anti-aircraft guns. Maybe that's like the best that they could do. Um, but once I have Paris, I have I'll have 12 supply. I'll have full supply because it will be an allied capital of a major power. And then with my units with having 12 supply instead of 6 or whatever, they'll do a lot better. Wait, what? Anti-tank weapons. Go against all ground units. Defense values increase against one against soft light. Okay, yeah. All right. It's just for anti-tank. Let's get that anti-aircraft building as well. I could do with a, another anti-aircraft on this front. The UK cannot make any more. Okay, I guess that's it for now. The evil tank push continues, backed up by artillery. And some of the artillery is really starting to gain experience now and starting to get good, good damage. And the Germans are not liking it. They're down to 95% morale. 56 for Italy. 42 for Japan. Of course, the morale for the UK and the US is even worse. I don't think unit losses alone is really going to cause anything to happen. Okay, we need some bad weather in Russia. It's coming up for September. If China can buy, if China can get mobility researched, and then I can buy mobility for these units here, I'll be able to dive forward and get their get their planes. And look at how thin this front line is now. Okay. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next time.